Hello again. I have a lot on my mind, so I figured I would uh, bang out a few videos. Um, I was going through some of my cards. I figured it was time to, you know, batch up another group of cards for the uh, for four sharp four sharp corners. Do another consignment order of things that you know I I bought, I graded, but I'm not really interested in um, keeping. Uh, this guy is a perfect example. Uh, and the more I thought about it, the more I, it really kind of sent me down a rabbit hole and into some really bad thoughts, right? So Patrick Kane, this is a beautiful, uh, what is it, 2014 uh, Fleer Precious Metal Gems. This is numbered out of 100, number 21 out of 100. And, um, but as I was looking at this uh, card, and I'm gonna put it down now because I don't want him contaminating my channel. You know, I thought about, do I want this card in my uh, collection knowing that he has such a checkered past, right? And whether it was his rape charges, the charges of him and his brother like beating up a cabbie because they wouldn't get, because the guy wouldn't give him back like a quarter and change, or um, whether he and Jonathan Taves had, you know, knowledge of the, the whole Chicago Blackhawks rape situation, um, sexual assault situation that happened back in, um, uh, was it maybe around 2012? I might, I might've gotten the, the year wrong, but I mean, you know, in the end, I don't really want any part of him in my collection. And I certainly hope that when Chicago goes and tries to trade Taves and Kane, that the Islanders don't partake in that, um, acquisition derby because you know they're both guys that I just you know that we, I just don't want a part of right there are a lot of people especially now you know I wonder if his charges had come to light uh now would there have been a different result you know kind of like you know Kobe Bryant rape charges you know early on in, in his career um you know I mean and the answer is probably nothing would be different with Kane and Kobe Bryant because they're superstars uh I think we're seeing that with Deshaun Watson and the fact that he has all these charges, but he still gets this, you know, incredible deal from the Browns. Whereas, uh, you know, if you're a punter and you're accused of gang rape charges, you're out of here, right? So there's still a big double standard, even though we've made some progress uh, along the lines of just being more humane as a, as a species. So um, I'm not sure where this video has necessarily gone. All I know is that, uh, you know, I saw my Patrick Kane thing, my card, I'm gonna sell it because I don't want him infecting my home. Let me know what you guys think about some of the stuff that's been going on and whether, uh, you know, if you're a big hockey fan, are you interested in your team trading for Patrick Kane when he, uh, when the Chicago Blackhawks look to uh, make a deal, whether that's a week from now or, you know, at the trade deadline? I'd really be curious what you think. Um, and if you're a Cleveland Brown fan out there, how do you feel about the fact that you have Sean Watson on your team? Do you still love the Browns? Do you have mixed feelings? Do you feel a little dirty? Or do you feel just fine about it? I'd love to uh, start a discourse, a, um, a polite discourse, right? Because I'm willing to listen to all sides, even those who may even say that Joe Paterno had no idea that anything was going on with Jerry Sandusky. I have said too much and it's time to go. See you next time.